So the weather is anything but quiet across the country. As we head into Saturday, that's going to continue. We even have a decent tornado risk across the northeast. And we're looking at what I think will be our first hurricane of the season already on the table. And it's, I think this is going to develop pretty quickly, too. So does the Hurricane Center. In fact, let's go ahead and start here because I think this will play into the weather over the next week, especially across the Gulf Coast and the East Coast, too. You can't let your guard down with something like this. There could be another one behind this one, too. As of 5 p.m. Friday, Center of Circulation still back here, expected to develop quickly into a tropical storm on Saturday. And then as early as Sunday, we could be looking at a hurricane here as this gets close to the Lesser Antilles. Where does it go from there? There's still a lot of question, I think. At this point, it looks like it stays south of Puerto Rico and the Dominican and maybe even south of, of, of Cuba, but Jamaica potentially could take a hit. That's something to keep an eye on. And again, I think you got to watch this across the Gulf Coast. As of right now, again, this is just guidance. A lot of this model data wants to send it here into uh, Central America, into the Yucatan Peninsula. Does that happen? I don't think you can let your guard down. You know, at this point, I you know I'm looking at some of these upper level charts, trying to see where things are going over the next couple of weeks. Again, all of this is model data, and the reason it's wanting to drive it uh, here into Central America is because as we get into next week, we're going to see a pretty decent ridge of high pressure here in the at the surface across the East Coast. If that happens, that's going to really suppress this off to the south, and it's going to keep it out of Florida. It's going to keep it out of the Gulf Coast. It's going to really push it here again into the Yucatan, into places like Belize, uh, really up toward Cancun. It looks pretty rough if that's the case. Does that happen? You know, I don't know. These models, again, we're looking at Thursday into Friday. Again, with this particular setup with high pressure here, that drives it this way. However, you know, what we're not seeing is a big trough here that wants to scoop it up. Something to keep an eye on over the next couple of days as new data comes in. Let's talk about some new data, too. For Saturday, severe weather, it's on the table anywhere from Colorado all the way into the northeast. And the northeast, that looks to be where we have the highest risk for damaging winds. This is your outlook for that here across Ohio, West Virginia, Pennsylvania, and New York. And tornadoes cannot be ruled out. The greatest wind shear, that's that change of wind direction with height, will be here across New York, back into Pennsylvania, even into Ohio. And I know if you're looking at this here into Michigan, Ohio, Indiana, you may think, well, that's we're out of the woods. Look, it's still a risk. It's still on the table. There's still enough wind shear in the atmosphere that some of these could produce some tornadoes. So let's time some of this out. We've been dealing with the storms through the evening hours on Friday, and then heading into Saturday, those storms will start to shift to the east. We'll be dealing with some rain showers. Some of these could be strong early in the day, but I think as we get into the afternoon, especially in areas that don't see a lot of cloud cover. If you can get the sun to come out, you're really going to destabilize things. And then you're going to have that decent wind shear moving here through Pennsylvania into the afternoon. And that's when these storms will really start to fire up across eastern Ohio, northern West Virginia. Now we're into Pennsylvania through the evening hours. Some of these storms also to the south could get a little strong. And a lot of these areas, especially in this area, could use some rain. And I don't think the... We're going to see a lot of widespread rain here, but at least there's a chance, right? Especially if you're really parched, and some of you are into the Carolinas, even into Virginia and West Virginia. But heading through the evening hours, those storms continue to move off to the east, I think, across northern West Virginia, now over into eastern and northeastern Pennsylvania, into parts of New York State. And some of these may fire a little earlier here across New York, a little bit uh, into the late afternoon and evening. Now we're getting close to midnight, and these are starting to weaken. They're dropping south, and they're moving toward the east coast. This cluster of storms also, I think, needs to be watched back here across parts of Missouri. Heading into Sunday, the threat shifts again a little further to the east. Now we're watching uh, the eastern seaboard. Up and down the I-95 corridor, our front will be moving east. Out ahead of that, we'll see these showers and storms, and some of those could be strong on Sunday, too. As we look at the day three combined outlook, we're watching the east coast here, and also our next system starts to drop some storms here across the Rockies, the northern Rockies, and then into the northern plains, even as far south as Colorado. So very active over the next 24 hours and even the next couple of days, really. Across the central uh, United States overnight, we'll see some storms here heading into Saturday, though. If you're looking for rain, this monsoon really going back here across the four corner states. So we'll still see some showers here heading to the afternoon. Some of these in, could get strong into the evening hours, again, across parts of Kansas, Missouri, and Oklahoma. This would be really 10, 11, 12 o'clock tomorrow night. So we could see these storms fire up. And then uh, with some more rain showers back here across Kansas and Oklahoma, looking a little more likely at this point. A quick look at our highs, and then we're going to look at the rest of the week. On Saturday, hot across the south. Some of that heat gets squeezed north here right ahead of our front. 
Heading into uh, Sunday, though, it starts to cool down some across the Northeast. But look, back here across Arkansas, Louisiana, it's hot. We're talking about triple-digit heat all the way back to Texas and Oklahoma. Cooler here across the Northern Plains in the 60s and 70s and still baking on your Saturday across the far southwest. Really not a lot of change there. Precipitation-wise, if you're hoping for rain, let's go through this really quickly. Find where you are on the map. Some rain on Sunday possible. We may squeeze out some showers here in North Carolina as that front drops south, but it doesn't look like a huge rainmaker. And then high pressure builds in behind that, and we've got several days of dry weather. You can see our storm track now kind of going like this, right? So you've got at least the majority of the wet weather looks to be in this area through midweek and then as we move toward thursday and friday some of that starts to move into the east and northeast and then we start to i think really watch what's happening here in the tropics by the end of the week something to keep an eye on for sure all right if you enjoyed this i hope you'll come back subscribe it really helps the channel and i hope to catch you guys next time right here see you later